What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater and today I am going to be showing you a new remote from Harmony. This is a 2400 Pro model and you guys know that we've been using the Harmony Pro a lot, especially out of state. This is a really intuitive, affordable, easy to use remote that puts you in control of your system instead of having to go through a custom integrator like us and pay heavy service fees as well as um, firmware updates and things like that. You can do it all yourself right from your phone, very simply. So let's check it out. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna be unboxing this product as well as showing you how the system operates. I actually have one installed in this cedar room right over here as well as a brand new one right here. So. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, show you what's inside and what differentiates this from the standard Harmony Pro and uh, show you what's in the box. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna start by unboxing this guy. You can see it does have some of the key features right here on the front of the unit, some of the sales features. Um, it's touch screen, um, it is uh, PoE, which is really nice because the normal Pro model is not hardwireable, so it's not quite as reliable. Although the Pro model is much better than the Elite. It does have six uh, IR ports, which is great because you can control more devices with this particular system and have independent control over those devices. Uh, the system is going to include the touch screen remote, the hub, and the charging station. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna see when you open the unit is the hub. The hub is basically the brain of the system. You can see on the back it is wall mountable, which is nice. You have all your IR ports here. This is the huge difference between the Pro model and the Pro 2400. You got six IR ports versus just two on the standard Pro model. You also have an Ethernet port, which the Pro model does not have. Your pair button, and then your... That's it. It has a little antenna as well. The standard Pro model does not have this Wi-Fi antenna. I'm assuming this makes it more reliable. Okay. What else? We have a little screw, in case, a couple screws in case you want to wall mount it. Okay, this is the same exact charging station that the standard Harmony Pro has. Not a whole lot different there. The remote is the same as well. Touch screen, one button press, very easy to use remote. And it is rechargeable. Just sits right here on top of the charging station like this. And I'm gonna show you guys just in a minute the unit in action. I have a quick start guide here, which will show you how to use it. This is the power cord for the hub, as well as the IR covers. These are great because it just keeps the IR sensor from falling off. If you've ever had a control system before, I'm sure you've seen your IR sensor dangling in front of the TV and wondering why you can't control it. This will help that. Um, you have the charging station for the charging cradle, as well as all the IR sensors right here. And these are independent. So you have one IR sensor to one 3.5 jack. That's different from the Harmony Pro, the standard model. You have the 3.5 jack and then you have four IR sensors, so you don't have the independent control that you have with this unit. Which, if you have a larger scale system, that's very important because if not, if you have devices that are the same, say like a couple Sony TVs or a couple Blu-rays, a couple Apple TVs, you go to turn on one and you end up turning them all on. And that's not what you want. So there's definitely a application for this product. Okay, so that concludes the unboxing of the product. That's everything that's inside. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the product in action. Okay, so this is the system that I'm gonna be showing you the Harmony Pro 2400 demo on. It's a pretty simple system in comparison to what this remote can actually do. 
but you can see we do have the hub up here on top just so that it gets really good coverage um, i also have a little strong fs series rack with the, the built-in fans um, and we have sonos uh, amplifiers if you guys need anything for your home theater we do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee um, now the hub is basically sending signal out to our devices. Uh, we have an individual IR sensor on the devices right here. And you can also control devices over IP and Bluetooth with the Harmony, which is really great. So that's, that's where the hub is. And over here is where the theater is. Typical IR remotes, you have to point them. And when you have devices in one room and the rest of the device is in a closet. That makes it really hard without a universal remote. This is the remote here. And this customer just has an Apple TV. So what's really great about this is you hit one button, it's gonna turn everything on and turn it all the right input. And it's intuitive. You can do this yourself. I actually, with all of my customers, have them set it up on their own phones so that they understand how to use it. But I don't do a whole lot of educating. It literally, re you read off the prompts as you're setting it up. So let's see how it works. Boom. You can see it tells you what it's doing. And once it's fired up, you just control it. So all of the buttons that are typically on the remote of the product that you're controlling are gonna line up with the buttons or the touch screen. This is a very basic example, it just has an Apple TV, but you can see um, you can go in and you can control every single device separately. Like say you wanted to go into your main zone on your AVR and you wanted to control, I don't know, you want to make a calibration setting change. You can go right into setup, even though that device is in the closet. and you can control your AVR. So you have independent control over every single device. I think it says up to 200 devices. Most of you will never even get remotely close to that, but it's nice to know that this little guy can do it. And it's affordable in comparison to what you would be paying for a professional level remote. Um, now, if you're done using the system, all you have to do is hit power off. And just like that, it turns everything off and you're ready to go for next time. All right, guys. Well, that does uh, conclude my unboxing quick review of the Harmony Pro 2400. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up on this video and smash that subscribe button down below. Until next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching.